Good morning ladies and welcome back to Perch Pro 6. One year has passed since Sporting last claimed the victory for the second year in a row. One year for all of the teams to make a new waterproof game plan. One year to scout new waters and to sharpen the hooks. And now it's all about to go down. Just like all our other fishing videos that we release every week, we have in Perch Pro. Ruski Subtutor, Polski Napisi, Deutsch Undertitel and Schutotech Fransa. You can activate them here on YouTube. Before we get started and get this competition rolling, let's just quickly go through the rules. As always, we like to change things up to keep the format alive. So this year there will be four points given out each day. First of all, we have the number point as always, which will be given to the team who catches the largest number of fish above 30 centimeters each day. The second point is the big fish point, and to earn this, you need to catch the longest perch of the day. We also have the top five point, and this one will be given to the team with the largest combined length of the five longest perch caught each day. So it's not only enough with one big fish, you need five. Last but not least, since we love topwater fishing so much, we decided to give away one topwater point each day to the team who catches the longest perch on a topwater lure. So hopefully we can look forward to some really cool topwater action these following episodes. To spice things up even more, there will be four bonus points given out at the end of the competition. The first one is the total number point, which will go to the team with the highest number of approved fish during these three days. The next one is the total big fish point and to earn this one you need to catch the longest perch of the entire competition. We also have the total top five point and to earn that one you need to catch the five longest perch combined during these three competition days. And last but not least the total top water point. To get this one you need to catch the longest perch on top water during these three days. This means that the teams have 16 points to find for and 8 of them will be handed out the last day. Nothing will be over until the last cast is thrown. To celebrate that this is the sixth time we're doing Perch Pro, we brought one more team to the party. This makes it six teams hungry of winning this prestigious competition. This and the following five Fridays, we get to follow these six teams spread out all over Europe in a nerve-wracking settlement to crown the champion. So now it's time for us to leave it to the six teams competing in Perch Pro 6. I hope you'll enjoy this season as much as we did filming it. Enjoy! Let's dive right into the first team competing in Perch Pro 6. Frederic Julian from France and Mark Dakowski from Germany together forms Team Ilex Gunky and they are the ones to keep an eye out for. Last year they fished in a big lake in Holland but decided last minute to change to a big lake in the northern parts of Sweden this year. Team Ilex Gunky have been desperately close of winning two years in a row and even managed a whopping 45cm perch on top water last year. Will this finally be the year of Fred and Mark? I'm Fred Julian. And I'm Mark Pachowski. And we are the Ilex Gunky team. Yeah. And we are and here to, to crash it. We're gonna, we're gonna catch a lot of fish, we hope. But uh, this year the rule has changed. Yeah. And um, there's much, much more points. So it's going to be really foggy for us during those three days because uh, it can't go in any direction. Numbers, big ones, big ones, top water. And the top water. And then at the end of the format, at the end of the three days, it's going to be a reward for the biggest amount of fish caught over three days. Yeah. The biggest fish over three days. Top uh, five. The top five and also the biggest top water. The biggest top water. So extra point at the end that are going to roll the dice again and again. Yeah. So I think it's going to be really excited. 
And I think we are not going to know anything no. about who can no. win this one or not. It's not, going to be even not more this foggy year. for us. Yeah, not this year. So that's that's cool. We're gonna give it all and try harder. I think. So that's uh, that's a goal. Yeah. So we just have a few minutes to go, and uh, I think we get ready, and we're gonna start with yeah. some top water for you guys. To reach the second team participating in Perch Pro, we have to cross not less than three borders to get to Holland, the land of the absurdly big perch, but famous for being so hard to catch. During the next three days, this will be the battleground for Team Fox Rage Salmo. Sylvain Lejeune is a brand ambassador for Fox Rage and an extremely skilled perch fisherman. By his side is Vincent Tobé, who knows the big lakes in Holland better than his own pocket. In Perch Pro 5, they managed to get a stunning 96 cm perch in one cast, an achievement we're unlikely to ever see again in the history of Perch Pro. They just got the boat in the water. Let's see what the boys are up to. Hello, guys, I'm Sylvain Legendre, Fox Rage brand ambassador. And my name is Vincent Torbe, and we are Team Salmo Fox Rage. And we will fish uh, this tournament for the second time. Yeah, exciting. Yes, exciting. Um, I think most of the team should be in Sweden. Yeah, um, I thinking think so. about sporting, of course, uh, the fly guys. Yes, yes. Good team. Um, probably uh, Fred Julian as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe Evert. Yeah, I think so, maybe. Don't know where is <laughs> Tobias and Dustin, I don't know where they are, actually. I, but I, Yeah, well, I think in, in Holland also. The point is, they, they will all catch hundreds, and we go for the big ones. Yeah. It will be really tricky, yeah, um, yeah. especially with the new rules, because it's a top water point every day, and this is really challenging here in Holland. It's possible, but it will be difficult, yes, especially as we start quite late for uh, top water. So we'll start yes. top water trying to get that uh, that point as early as yeah. possible and uh, go for the big ones. Yeah, the first uh, and the last hours uh, each day will be uh, important for us and we will see. Yes, so best, wearing, best of yeah. luck to every team and uh, yes, absolutely. we will try to do it. Yes. Bye. As Sylvain is having breakfast, let's check in on Team Sporting, who starts today a little differently. A pencil, a pen or a Glock, I'm the original, subliminal, subterranean, top Team Sporting are no rookies around here. They have won two consecutive Perch Pros and have no plans of changing that in Perch Pro 6. Stefan Nilsen is the owner of one of the biggest fishing tackle shops in Sweden, Sporting, and his fellow teammate Linus Eriksson is working in the shop with Stefan. Linus is one of the new faces to this season and we can't wait to see what this extremely talented Perch fisherman can show us. Welcome to Perch Pro 6. We are Team Sporting from Sweden and uh, we are ready to rock with you guys. I am Stefan Nilsen, I'm the owner of Sporting and this is my fourth time on Perch Pro. So uh, I know the procedure and I'm ready to go. My name is Linus and uh, this is actually my first time here and in Perch Pro and I'm working for Stefan in the shop here. And uh, this is actually going to be a blast. I hope it's going to be fun. It's going to be really cool. We are... We are ready. We are on a super nice lake, way, way up in Sweden. We are the only people here. We haven't seen people for the last four days, so uh, we think we're good to go. We jump quickly from one lake in the northern parts of Sweden to another. The fly guys are back for more. Just like last year, Team Vision Fly Dressing is represented by Stefan Jensen and Santa Claus. Uh, sorry. Daniel Bergman. They left last year's lake with unfinished business and are back at the same scene of crime this year. They have participated in Perch Pro ever since the beginning and were the last team to win before the era of sporting started. In 2017, when they won, they managed to get almost 1000 perch on the fly. And last year they got an amazing perch of 49cm, which was enough to destroy Team Ilex Gunky's dreams of gold. Hey guys, welcome back. Hello. We are Team Vision Fly Dressing and we're back to the scene of the crime last year. We're back for revenge on yeah. this lake. We had this crazy topwater hunt last year, but we didn't really manage to get them. But uh, this year we will. Yeah, spent hours and hours fly tying, <laughs> yeah. thinking. Hundreds of thousands <laughs> of flies. Millions. <laughs> <laughs> We've been, been here training. Yeah. Um, 
a couple of times, three good, times, I think. Good, good result. Big fish on yeah. top water, big fish and, and different tactics. Yeah. Fishing the drop up. Yeah. Uh, when it's not active but, on the yeah. on the big shallow part. Yeah, and with these um, these new rules with the top water points every day and yeah. big five. Or yeah, we big... got a chance on both of them. Yeah, and, and big fish, and we caught two 49ers training, yeah. uh, one yeah. on top water. Yeah. So we, if we can manage to get a couple of, of big fish uh, on on the the top water every day, it would be yeah. great, and even get the big the five. You know, uh, five over 45 is not impossible. Big uh, fish only. Big fish. <laughs> <Nah. laughs> All fish are fun fish. To get to the next contestants, we once again have to travel back to Holland. Adam Orre and Evert Ostam will once again compete for Team Catch With Care, trying to take home the trophy for the first time. Adam is working as a salesman for CWC, and this is his second year in Perch Pro. Evert used to be in the Army of Holland, but later in life turned to the fishing industry. Last year they fished in Lapland, Sweden, and it's really interesting that CWC and Ilex Gunke completely switched waters with each other. Good morning everybody. I will warm welcome all the viewers of Poils Pro. Uh, big thanks and regards and greetings for all the perch fishermen out there. My name is Evert Oosdam. I'm here with my good friend Adam, Adam Ora from Sweden. And in the back you see calm, no mountains, so that means we are in Holland. So as Evert said, last year we fished in Lapland, north of Sweden. We had a huge amount of fish, but we were a millimeter short on every point. So we made a game plan in the car while driving home from Lapland that we're not going to fish this spot, we're going to fish Holland next year. We did a lot of pre-fishing, or you did a lot of pre-fishing with your guys, and the fishing has been really good, but the winds in these lowland countries, it just destroys. <laughs> Again. Oh, yeah. Again. So we had like, I think, in average, five game plans per day. And they've all been trashed. So now with a different wind, we're finding ourselves in calm, calm waters on big fish points. And the tactic we're going to use is that we're going to fish with variety. One of us is going to fish the, uh, the crankbait or the topwater or the blade. Another one is going to fish something different. So we're continuously going to approach the spot with various tactics. There's not big, big areas to fish. There's some spots, but they're so exposed that we're going to be fishing key points. So we're going to go on the small points from point to point to point. point and yeah, yeah, point hopping and waypoints. We got a lot of them and um, we actually ended up fishing some new spots as well, so this will be interesting, for sure. Let's do this. Let's do this. And over to the last team, the newbies of the season. It is with great proudness that we welcome Team Nays to Perch Pro, represented by the German Perch Whisperer, Dustin Schöne, and our own Tobias Ekvall. The duo met for the first time in YouTube Predator Cup, which is a competition held by our friends Hecht und Barch. Tobias and Dustin managed to make their way all the way to the final where Dustin finally was able to lift the trophy for the first time. Dustin has performed in a numerous different competitions before, but the most memorable for him is the win in the prestigious World Predator Classics. Tobias should be known to most of you already, but he is here for the first time in front of the cameras and we are expecting nothing less than a win from Tobias and Dustin. For real though, we can't have one of our own in front of the cameras and not win. Anyway, let's see what Team Nays have to say about being in Perch Pro for the first time. Perch Pro, what do you say? I'm really excited, to be honest. Uh, for me, it's the first Perch Pro, so... Me too. Yeah. <laughs> but you, I've been editing yeah, and filming and all filming. of them. Yeah, yeah, so you, you're used to it. I'm Dustin, fishing for Team Nays. I'm uh, really excited fishing the Perch Pro because for me it's the first time. But actually I fish uh, quite a lot in competitions. That's also how I met uh, Toby. We met at the YouTube Predator Cup in the final. So we uh, will be a good team and I hope we will um, catch a lot of nice perch today and tomorrow and the day after. Okay, let's go. Let's win it. So these are all the six teams that will be participating in Perch Pro this season. Soon it's eight o'clock and the teams may begin the fishing. Let's go and let's roll Perch Pro 6. 
Okay, buddy. Mm -hmm. It's eight o'clock. Rock and roll. Let's do it. Do it. Here we go. First cast of tournament. Eight o'clock. Lines in. Eight o'clock. My knees are shaking, bro. We start in a small bay with uh, some weeds and uh, quite a shallow part. And we will uh, start straight uh, away with um, topwater baits. Yes, so absolutely. So with two different types of bait actually. Vincent took the rattling pop, the rattling pop, which yes. is a compact bait, much more like a popper uh, style with uh, splashes. And I use a completely different one, the rattling stick, yes. which is a stick bait, so walking the dog action. So I think it will complement each other. Yes, absolutely. Cool. So that's now time for the first cast of it's eight for 2019. Good luck, my friend. <laughs> Okay, uh, so our tactic is to, uh, since we don't see any fish hunting in the surface, we're gonna start uh, on the drop-off. It's around four meters deep and it drops down all the way to eight meters outside here. And our theory is that the big fish, they're actually around the big shallow part when they're not hunting on the shallow part. So we'll see if it pays off. Yeah, and as soon as we see something, in the surface, we'll drive directly in and, and target them with, with the pop on the top water flies. And hopefully that will pay off. That will be our like base, basic tactics throughout the whole day, right? Yeah. So uh, hit and run. Yeah. We're like seagulls. <laughs> you could be a seagull. <laughs> caw, 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 caw. Yeah. <laughs> fish, fish on. on. Oh, first, it's a big fish. First cast of the day, right? Yep, yep. Let's hope this is a perch. It's a big fish. It's a big perch. <laughs> First cast of the day, man. First cast. Wow. <laughs> Great, well done. Awesome fish. Look at that baby. That's a good start, man. Yeah, hell yeah. That's a fantastic start. Okay, so let's measure this first fish. And it's so cool that our tactics worked. Uh, we started on the drop off since we didn't see any fish hunting in the surface. Uh, and it paid off on the first cast. That is pretty crazy. And let's see, it's 40, 42. Great man. Well, that's a pretty decent start for Team Vision fly dressing to say the least. 42 centimeter in the first cast of the morning. Way to go, boys. First cast this morning, I gonna fish the DK7, the double kill seven from Lure fans. And now it's time to get a big one. Here we go, first cast of tournament. Good one. Nice one. Ooh, big one, big one, big one, big one, big one, big one, big one. First cast of the morning, biggie, biggie. <laughs> tank, tank. It's a real tank, actually. <laughs> this is crazy, dude. Look at this one. It took the whole bait, both the triples out into the mouth. Look at that fish. Holy smoke. Super tanga, first cast in the morning. Ain't that a pretty one? Super. Wow, it ain't getting more pretty than that. It's crazy, dude. This one's 47. Wow, 47 centimeter. First fish in the morning, ain't that something? Whoa, whoa, whoa. In Sweden, it's very important for a lot of our customers to know how the big the fish is, how much the weight is. In down in Europe, people doesn't weigh their fish, but in Sweden, it's very common to fish. And we, we weigh in a real special weight sling made out of the of friendly rubber who doesn't hurt the fish and doesn't make the fish um, lose its slime and stuff, so it's really perfect. Let's see how big it, she is. It's a big one. 1.49, oh, yeah. so 1,490 gram, almost one and a half kilo. Now it's time to go back. And the lunkers are just hauling in. Well done, Stefan. Quite unique for Team Vision fly dressing to catch a 42 centimeter perch in the first cast and still be behind. Well, well, it's about 9 hours and 56 more minutes left to change that on day one. Uh, no, stop, 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 stop! <laughs> I wouldn't start the morning with a... With a bird. With a bird. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Bird pro. 
Bird Pro. Fish. Big one. Net. I'm here. Okay. Already a big one. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Oh, look at my fight. Look at them fight. This is a big perch. Oh, this is a big perch. Net it. Oh, net it. This is yeah, a 50. Yes, this is a 50. <laughs> get it, get it, get it. Oh, oh, second cast for the oh, monster. Jesus Christ. <laughs> for the monster. <laughs> this is a 50. Man, I have to swim. <laughs> oh. Yes. <laughs> Fucking incredible. <laughs> wow, dude! This is the. But the, hey man, oh. put it in the net. My personal best, guys, is 48. If I improve it, I will swim. I promise you guys. Okay. Okay. So. Oh, let it be 50. Let it be 50. Let it be 50. It's, it's longer, it's longer. No, it's 50. 50. Yeah. My personal best! <laughs> 50! <laughs> Second cast! 50! <laughs> Second cast! Get in my elevator, straight to the penthouse. It only goes one way, in it ain't down. No, no, never going down. <laughs> Boom! Oh my. You can imagine that, that all the struggle that we did in yeah. free fishing, second cast, boom! Oh my god. All right, all right, all right. Slow it down for a second now. We are four minutes into the competition and we already have Daniel with a 42 centimeter, Stefan with a 47 centimeter and the man himself, Evert, who just caught himself a new freaking personal best, a 50 centimeter perch in the second cast of the first day of Perch Pro 6. That makes CVC a leader so far and that's a really good fish for the top five point. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Perch Pro 6. This was the crank that I caught uh, my personal best on. I've got a funny tradition, so I will remove this crank from the rod and I will never ever fish this lure in my life again. I put this in my trophy uh, wardrobe, so to say. And don't worry, he has backups. <laughs> yeah. So he's not gonna quit fishing the corner. No, no, no. Dumbass. <laughs> so uh, this is my trophy and I will save all the lures that I caught my personal best. Uh, I do it with pikes and now uh, also uh, with perch. I'm uh, close to 53 years old. You're never too old to catch your personal best. And uh, keep on hammering, guys. The air is quite cold, we give it a shot. It's important, it takes only a few minutes to give it a shot on top water. Top water point is really a, a key point uh, this year because every day we, we need one. So. Now we're going to switch to more traditional jigging technique. Yes, and it's a keeper, good one. We open the score. Let's see, it's a 37. So that was our tactic. At first top water, but no bite on top water, we switched to soft bait. A smaller G bump did the trick. First fish of the day, 37. That's a good start, Mark. That's a very good start, friend. Bye bye. And that's one click? Yes. First click of the day. After trying to get the top water point at the first place of the day, Fred and Mark changed tactics to a more traditional way of perch fishing. They also found a place where the fish are active and the perch are almost jumping in and out of the boat. Way to go, Team Elix Gunky. The only team at the moment going for the number point. I'm 
So, first cast of the day. Let's catch some perch. Do it. Oh, my knees are fucking soft. You know that? Yeah. Perch. Oh. Perch. I'm, I'm, I'm oh, ready. Oh, no. Pike, I think. Oh, but I think it's a pike. Oh. Well, it's a, well. I'm gonna help you. You know, I'm gonna net it. No, no. Okay, keep on fishing. Keep on fishing, please. It oh, be... fish, fish, perch, perch. Yes, perch. No, I, I think it's a pike. I told you. I'm not you. sure. I'm not sure. I told you continue oh, fishing. I think it's a pike. Yeah, it's a pike. For a real strong. No, it's a pike. You know, that's a bad sign because in pre-fishing, when we caught the pikes, we didn't catch the perch. So I think. That's not really good what, it, what happens now. Maybe we should have been a fly versus shark. <laughs> yeah, but they are strong. Imagine if this would have been two big perch. Yeah, then it would be good. Yep. Nice predator, really nice lure. Soft rubber, good action. And this is my pike, but I will lease it to keep on hammering for perch, right? Me too. We have to hurry. What? Bye bye. You have to change your leader, bro. Yep. And this is how the lure looks like that we're using. It's the nice predator. But as you can see here on the leader, it's damaged. You always want to have a good leader because imagine if you would lose a big perch because you didn't change it. So I'm gonna retie it as quick as possible. Last time where we caught so many per uh, pikes, we haven't had a single perch. But we caught pike here. Yeah, one. Ah, uh, and last time we caught, yeah, yeah. I caught several pikes between the perches yeah. on the first uh, uh, Pre-fishing day, right? Yes. First fish of, uh, First one of, of the, the tournament. Yes. yes, on the rattling pop. Yes, all right. Yeah, it's it's not a huge one, but it's sizable. It's yes, it's 35. It's yes. First fish of the tournament. He's uh, he's not a huge one, but he's sizable, so that's a good thing. We're gonna really use it. Well done, Vincenzo! The first fish on top water for the tournament, which makes the scoreboard looking like this. Team Ilex Skanke have picked up the pace and have 8 measurable perch at the moment, which gives them the number point. Team Catch with Care have the big fish point with Evers 50cm, the big 5 point is with Fred and Mark, and the top water point is in the hands of Team Fox Rage Salmo. That means that Team Ilex Skanke has the lead right now with 2 points. But as said before, the first hour hasn't even passed yet. So much can and will still happen. So now we move away from uh, the island to a deeper spot next to it. And uh, we saw a big school of, of uh, fish, of perch, and uh, on a drop. So let's hope they are biting us. Yes! Oh yes! That's freaking solid. Freaking solid fish. Woo -hoo, that's a 40. So it looks like Fred and Mark both are catching numbers and big fish. A solid 45 cm longer who might play a very important role at the end of the competition when we will hand out the four bonus points. Well done, boys. Yep. More. More. Nah. What? <laughs> no, that was fun, leap. <laughs> this isn't a fish. It's not even alive. Uh, but this is a good indication that I'm fish fishing close to the bottom. And me and Stefan are doing uh, different tactics. I'm using a really heavy sinking line, a 250 uh, bottom express on a seven weight, and a really heavy Martins Minnow uh, with a 5.5 millimeter tungsten head. It sinks like a blood of rock. So I'm sort of bouncing it off the bottom, hopefully not getting stuck too much. And it's been working good so far. And Stefan is on a lighter setup with an intermediate line and though a quite heavy sinking fly. Uh, so he's fishing a little bit higher up in the water column. Uh, and see, we'll see what the medicine for today is. 
when they're not hunting. And whenever one get a fish, yeah, or we see like a tendency that one is getting more fish than the other, yeah, we switch over. Yeah, and yeah. run the same. I'm trying to target around two meters and probably fishing around two meters, uh, so that will be in the, in the middle section of the water column, and Daniel is all the way down digging deep. So uh, he's the heavyweight and I'm the lightweight at the moment. As usual. Yeah. Hopefully that won't continue with the fish though. <laughs> <laughs> so this spot we're fishing, um, it's just a, like a shallow part of, of in the middle of a lake with a bunch of big boulders, big rocks, and then of course an edge on, on every side that drops down to, to deeper water. Very often the fish is holding on the edge and it moves into the shallow part to, to hunt. And that's what we're more or less waiting, waiting for. So we're fishing the deep edge and whenever it happens, we'll attack. Yeah, uh, this is sort of a textbook example of a good uh, perch spot with this uh, big boulders and, and really nice structure and hard bottom uh, in the middle of the lake. And more or less all around it, it's quite deep. Uh, a lot of bait fish uh, gather up on the, on the shallow parts and sometimes the, the big perch come up and hunt them. It's really cool, <laughs> really cool fishing. This is Double Kill 7, a brand new bait from this year in Sweden. It comes from a company called Lurfans. This one is what people say is a big bait. They haven't really hit the market that hard yet because uh, people think, oh, it's way too big, it's way too big. But apparently it's not. In three days I caught like 10 fish over one kilo, biggest one's 48 and now this 47. So uh, this is uh, come out of nowhere and this is a bait we're going to see a lot of the future. If people are not scared to fish it, I bet you'll catch a lot of really, really big fish. Now I get another one. The good thing is with the low profile reel, the new Arbo Extreme, you can cast it all the way out. It's bomb casting, it's flying. It is nice. It's time again. This time it was both side strike. I saw the fish went up and took the bait just two meters behind the boat, came up, just hammered it, slammed it, big time. Super cool, actually. Yeah, it was a really nice take. Nice one. Not a biggie, but a nice fish. That's the way we like them. Let's check it out how big he is. Just to see, 41. 41 centimeter, third fish of the day. Boom, boom, double kill again, big bait. Good sized fish. They're pretty, huh? This is why we do it. This is why we love it. They are so good looking. I'm gonna put it back. Bye bye, precious. Yes. Yes. So now, first hour well done and still keeping hammering them. Oh, that's a freaking solid one. Oh, man. You make it! Yes! I'm on! I'm on! And that's a keeper! <laughs> Man! So this one 32 makes a number, but this one is the one we, know, we want to know about. <laughs> yeah, 45. 45, man! You make it! <laughs> 45, so 245. Let's release it, yeah? Yes. After the most hectical hour ever in the history of Perch Pro, it's finally time for the 9 o'clock report. If the fishing continue to be like this, the episodes will be 6 hours long, can't complain about that. Time for the report, that's uh, right, already so one hour gone, bad start, because we were hoping for a solid first hour. So um, now we are a little bit in trouble I think, but uh, well, we need now to, to find more fish and bigger fish. Yes. I think we have to go a little bit deeper, mm -hmm. change from tactics, chatterbaits, hornets and other stuff. All right. So the first hour is over. We have um, 16 fish in total. Biggest fish is 45. 
And we don't have a big fish, uh, biggest fish on top water so far. So that was a good hour, huh? Yep. Let's continue like this. Let's keep on moving. So this is what the scoreboard looks like after the first hour. Team Ilex Gonke has the number point with 16 perch caught over 30 centimeters. Obviously the big fish point goes to CWC fishing team after Evers 50 centimeter long giant. The top 5 point, which is the 5 longest perch combined, goes to team Ilex Gunke with an average of 40 centimeter on the 5 longest, which adds up to 200 centimeters. Sylvain and Vincent is the only team who caught a topwater fish so far 35 cm long. This means that Fred and Mark is on top of the scoreboard after the first hour with 2 points. CWC fishing team and team Fox Raid Salmo are both sitting in second place with 1 point each. Let's roll the second hour of Perch Pro 6. As we know from last year, the weather can change quickly in Holland. As you see in the background, it's complete mayhem. Even the trolling motor can't hold us in place, so we need to find somewhere where we're not that exposed. We just have to go, like right now. Don't you say it, but... Yeah, one more cast and then we go. One more cast. This place is really shallow, and we have fished the small canal that usually holds a lot of perch, and there's a lot of bait fish here. But now uh, I need to, we need to go inside here, and then I need to drive the electric engine and in order to fish as long as possible. Dustin is going to be casting me while I'm driving quite slow with the engine, trying to not hit any rocks. So the tactic we have in the beginning is that we're going to go to the safe spot first. We have kind of... It was really safe. Yeah, for fish. Yeah, but we have some spots where we really think we're going to catch a perch. Or at least most likely we're going to catch a perch. Uh, and then we, when we have tried all of these spots, we can have five or something, we're going to do the more uncertain spots where you have to, to uh, search a little bit more. And then when we have done those spots, we're going to go back to the safe spot and do it all over again. I bet we will catch some pikes over here, but maybe a perch. Last time we had two, right? One on this side, one on the other side. I think I will change to a more heavier lure because I want to fish a bit more aggressive. It's quite deep here, right? Yeah. I will change to Blade Runner just to do something different. That's a spin jig. I think I will use a bit more aggressive color. So we'll see if this will work. So on that uh, rocky part with weed, we, um, we missed uh, two fish. I mean, uh, Vincent has nice fish coming to the popper, but uh, it didn't take. And I got a, quite a strong bite on the chatterbait. Uh, but uh, when I tried to set the hook, I had nothing on. So yes, fish, yes. Look at this one. All right. That's a live bite. <laughs> Not a huge fish, but better than nothing. Actually, I think that's a similar fish that I missed. That's a medium-sized perch caught on the chatterbait. So we released this uh, small perch, 39. I think that's a bit short for what we aim for, but that's already a good... Uh, I'm already happy with that fish. We'll uh, gently release. Good job, Next Sylvain. One. Well done, Sylvain. That's the first fish in a long while for all of the teams. Even the fly guys are struggling with followers and missed bites. We got a lot of followers, um, but they don't seem to bite. Uh, something is wrong, so to speak. Uh, I got one following again, but they're just, they're just following. They're not taking, we've been changing flies, we've been doing loads of different things, but they, they, they're not biting. Um, I don't know what or if we are doing anything wrong, but it's a struggle anyway. It's a good sized fish also, now it's about four or five. Yeah, we've been jumping around between fly sizes and fly types and line types. And uh, we're not really cracking the code, for these fish at least. But at least we know but, they're here. Yeah, well that's a good start. Yeah. Then we have something to experiment on. A good strike. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see. It was a good strike, but it doesn't seem to be that strong. Uh, nice fish. 37. Approved fish number two. Finally a keeper for Daniel and Stefan. They only have two fish at the moment and that won't take them far in, in the number point. Team Ilex Gunke have picked up the pace with the numbers. Yes! That's a solid, uh, I think. Oh, it's a keeper. It's a keeper, yeah, of course. Of course it's a keeper. Okay, now we came back to this uh, fish floating island. 
And we got fish yeah. again. So, solid. Yeah, that's a solid one again. So we have been moving and uh, we found the fish again. So the, the idea is to let it let rest uh, the place and then come back, let it rest, come back. This will not improve our total length, but I'm going to check it. 38 is the smallest. Uh, it's 37. No improve. Let's go for numbers. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see the midday report, to see uh, if we change tactics, if we, uh, if we can keep catch up with numbers, or if we are lost for the day, and then we go for big ones and keep uh, armoring for those 45. Yeah. And also the top water point will yeah. be interesting. The weather should not be stable. Maybe we get some luck and uh, get some sun in the afternoon. Yeah. No, it's okay. Oh, yeah. It's a good one. Wow, look at this fatty. Look at this fatty. She eat well at the canteen. Bye-bye. I can't keep contact. No? No, not with the 18 gram jig head. Use the cranky. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Put on the blue one or the red head. It worked for me yesterday. The current was too strong to keep the pig crawl on the bottom, so I'm going to change to the X10, the clown, in Cranky X 6 cm. So we're both using the Cranky X on this spot. We're going to use the same lure on this spot because it's what bringing the fish right here, right now. Well, at least, yeah, fish. At least we have cons. Oh, 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 oh. 40, 40, 40, 40. 40, 40, 40. <laughs> Man, I'm so f***ing happy. <laughs> I came oh. off with the net, they're f***ing picky. Yes, baby. This is what perch fishing is all about. It's 42. 42. Approved? Approved. 42. I will do the release now. Since the water is warm, I just leave them hang in the water for a minute and then off they go. Bye bye, 42. Keep on hammering, guys. The fog is actually very strange here. It's coming up from the mountain and it's super cold. I don't know what the perch like about that, actually. No. I haven't had a bite in a half an hour, so I don't think they like the cold. It was super nice in the morning. We were in shorts and t-shirts. Now it's, with the fog, it's getting really actually kind of almost wet and cold, so. We we'll hope that disappears pretty soon because we don't like that. That's the thing you get when you're up here, way up in the north of Sweden, out the wilderness. I think the other teams are probably doing better than us. We haven't had a fishy for more than an hour now. Can't seem to find the bait fish, struggling a little bit. It's getting really, really cold here. It's time to get in some other clothes. It was really good this morning, but now it's getting really foggy and really, really cold. And temperature is dropping a lot, so we don't like that. But that's the name of the game. Yeah, I don't think that the perch like this at all, actually. They are hard to find. But somewhere we should find someone. Is it small or is it big? It's decent, yeah. It's a big one. Woo! Junk! <laughs> yeah! It's way over 40. Oh, it's way over 40. I haven't had a strike for one and a half hours. And these nice guys come. Look at the, the fatness of it. Yeah, it's really fat. <laughs> super, super nice fish, nice condition. Very nice. Let's check it out. 45. And then this happens, just a few minutes later. No, it's a... It's a... Uh, it's a me medium size, but it's... Yeah, it could be actually be a, maybe, not, not as big as yours, but it's a perch, so this is not a pike, so, yeah, he's okay. Get up. <laughs> in your face, ah. in your face! Ooh. Ah. Tank! Ooh. Finally, I caught some. <laughs> Okay, it's, it's a little bit more than medium. It's a little bit more than a medium, huh? I, I think so, actually. <laughs> Bite of bleak. Bite head. Actually, and the Lucy Perch in what color? It's uh, Twinkie. Twinkie? 45. They can't afford to linger 45. 45. 45. Look at the belly. Look at the belly. Look how fat it is. Yeah, baby. 
Oh, what do you think? Do you think we are in the game or not? We need a couple more of these over 45. Then we can be in the game. Where is he? Oh, oh, oh. Take it easy, 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 easy. Oh. It's a nice one. Yeah. It's a tank! Do you have it? And again, uh, Isox gear, Lucy Perch, Twinkie collar. We had huge success with that collar a couple of years ago up here in the north of Sweden. Do they do love the Twinkie up here, that's for sure. Oh, she is 47. A really, really nice one here. Yeah, now we have the top five over 40, so. But we uh, need a couple more bigger, actually, I think. This is, this is what we came for. This year we want to go all in for the big fish. We had two years in a row caught tons of tons of lots of lots of birds. Hurt. We want to show people that we can handle the big fish too. It's not only about caught, catching a lot. So this year we went only for the big ones. We need sure. a lot of crayfish and stuff up here, that's for sure. And just like that, with a few quick mid 40s, they're at the moment in the possession of the top five point with 225 centimeter. Who could have guessed that? Team Nays have had a tough start of the competition with zero measurable fish caught so far. What to do now? Yeah, that's the hard part. Uh, this was our safe card, a real part that we're gonna catch something here because we have done it in all training days. Yeah, me too. But we didn't manage and that's a very bad luck for us. It's so now we need to do something different. And I have another bay that's like 20 minutes of driving from here that uh, have caught some good fish in recently. So I think we need to hurry up before uh, the raccoon car, because yeah. I don't want to call them and say, hello guys, we have... Zero fish. No. No, I think so too. We have to try a lot of things now and uh, move fast. I think we need to find the um, active perch and use also search baits yeah. instead of uh, staying long at one place. Okay, let's and then, go. Then we're going to ba go back here later. I think so too. For sure. But okay. uh, no time to waste. Let's go. It's a perch, I think it's it's a perch. It's a, perch. it's a huge perch. It's a huge perch. It's up, it's up, it's up, it's up. Put it in! Yeah. Yes! Oh! Far go! <laughs> Good, Dustin! Well done! Take it, take it, I'm gonna keep on fishing. Yes! Keep on fishing. Yes. That's a beautiful perch. We were fishing now for two hours and really keep on hammering to catch just one of these beauties and now it happened. I'm so happy. First perch and it's a really beautiful one. On a chatterbait, trailer was a predator, 3.5 inch. Yes, Mwah. thank you very much. Okay, wet it first to save the fish. And oh, it's such a beautiful fish. It is so beautiful. It is 40, 44 to be honest. Yeah, okay, 40. 44, such a beautiful fish. I'm really happy. Now we just need to catch uh, four more in that size. Four more, let's go, my friend. Tell your sisters and brothers that we need more of you. Bye. Yes, that's such a release. Whew. Let's keep on hammering. We need four more. That felt so good, you know. Now we can call them and say that uh, we don't need to say that we didn't catch anything. <laughs> that's really nice, to be honest. Perch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes! Dustin, you're the <laughs> perch guy today. <laughs> what did they say? Let's do one more cast. We wanted to leave. Actually, we wanted to leave, but then I said, let's do one more cast in this direction. Yeah, but let's do one more. Uh, you do. Exactly. You, okay, second fish of the day. It's good that we, now we only need to catch three more, Dustin. Three more. And, and a I, big one. I think it's a bit smaller than the one before, but of course we get some confidence now as we had nothing the whole morning. 39. Nice fish. We need bigger ones, but it's a nice fish. Go back, beauty. <sighs> yeah, I tried lots of different things now. Spinner bait, normal jig, uh, quank baits, spinner baits. But also, like in the training, I had the most success with these uh, shatter baits. As a trailer, I use uh, the Nace Predator in 3.5 inch 
Um, in pre-fishing it works quite well so I keep on hammering this lure and uh, try to catch another big perch. After one hectic first half of the day with highs and lows for all teams it's time for the very first report of Perch Pro. All six participating teams will sit down and call each other to see where they're at. How many perch does Team Sporting really have? Will CWC be a millimeter short of the points this year also? What about the fly guys? Now it's time to find out and to see the reaction of all of the teams. Hi, this is Stefan from Team Vision Fly Dressing. We have a total number of two fish. Biggest fish is 42 centimeters. Total length of the top five, 79 centimeters. And no fish on top water. Hello, here's Dustin from Team Nath. We have a total amount of fish, uh, two. Our biggest fish is 44. Um, we have a total length of uh, the five biggest fish of 83 and no fish on top water. Hello, it's Roderick from uh, Team Gentilex. So we have a total of uh, 41 fish. The biggest fish is 45. The top five biggest are 204 and zero on top water. This is Sylvain from uh, Fox Rage Salmo. We have uh, three fish. The biggest fish is 39. The top five is 106 and our biggest fish on top water is 35. This is Stefan from Team Sporting. We have the number of fish is seven. Our biggest fish is 47 centimeter. Our top five is 225 centimeter and we have zero top water fish. All right, this is Adam from Team Catch with Care. We have a total number of five fish. Our biggest fish is 50 centimeters. We have a total length of 192 centimeters and we have nothing on top water. Okay, thank you. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Keep on hammering. Bye bye, bye. Sorry, okay, Stefan. that's surprising. You know, the, the biggest surprise for me is Ilex with 41. Yeah, fish. I thought they were Holland. Of course, it can. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. I wanted to go to Holland with you. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe he's not in Holland. Donkey 41, so they are not fishing. In Holland. Yeah, they. but I think they fish rivers more into the east. Yes. Not too bad, huh? We have yeah, them. Yeah, we keep up with the numbers. And we still can get the top water point. Get the top water yeah, point. Because in practice, we get bigger ones than 35 on top water. And we still have. Uh, yeah, but Sporty has an impressive number of 47. Yeah. Two years in a row they make mm -hmm. the numbers. And now they're going to trouble us with the big one. Yeah. <laughs> but now we go for the numbers. So <laughs> <laughs> they're on Big Fish Lake. Yeah. Hmm? Can you say something fun about that, that they changed from number and now they are on top of their big fish? Yeah. So uh, two, yeah. two years in a row they make mm -hmm. the numbers. And now they're gonna trouble us with the big one. Yeah. <laughs> but now we go for the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode. Yeah, first episode it's of Perch Pro. Good start for us, but uh, believe me, actually they are not biting. So if they wake up a little bit in the afternoon, the next episode is going to be awesome. Yeah. Stay tuned, guys. We're last. <laughs> Yeah, well, that was kind of expected, yeah. wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, Frederick is going for numbers this time. He have uh, 41 fish, and he have biggest is 45. So right now we are holding the top five points. Gonki have the number point. Fox have the top water point, and CWC had the longest point with 50 centimeter, as we expected it to be. So we're in good shape. See you guys on the next episode. Get ready for Lanka City. I was expecting a fish in and and news from and, also and, and we have the only topwater fish of the first yes. episode. <laughs> That's which a good is, thing. I don't That's know if it's good because we are we are really late on and the rest. But Avid and and, yeah. and many big fish, you know, 44, 45, 47, 50. Yeah. So a lot of lot of big fish have been caught. Yeah. Nothing in surface. Maybe they have wind or whatever. Too heavy yeah. wind. Or, so we know. Yeah. So we we need we need our. <laughs> Big average this afternoon. Well, they did a good job, so yeah. Let's work hard, make it happen. Yes.
What a fantastic first episode, guys. As it stands now, the four points are split up between Ilex Gunky, CWC, Fox Rage Salmo, and Sporting. But lots of things can and will change before the first day is over. We want to thank everybody who's been watching the first episode. Now there is five more episodes to go before we can crown the winner of Perch Pro 6. Stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. See you guys next week. Take it to the